Now's not a good time. Hey, Emma. How you doing, darling? Um, sweetheart, I gotta talk to Aiden for a few minutes. You mind run upstairs and playing for a little while? I'll be up there as soon as I can. Okay? Thanks, love. Why is Emma home? Is she all right? No, she's not all right. She was sent home from a field trip because she hit her best friend. Did she say why? Because of Annie. Because the other kids were teasing her, saying her mom was crazy and she's going to jail. It's not because of Annie, Ryan. It's because of Richie. Look, you've been a good friend to Annie, and you've been her advocate, and I, I appreciate that, Aiden, but I, I can't get into this right now. Ryan, I need to talk to you, okay? You need to hear me out. No, actually, I don't. When Annie was a little girl, Richie killed her best friend and made her think that she did it. That's why she killed Richie. And she didn't figure it out until last night. Annie told you this? It all happened when she turned seven. Annie's father stayed home to set up her birthday party instead of going to a baseball game, Richie's baseball game. And that ticked Richie off. And when he got home, he took Annie down to the basement to punish her. What do you mean, punish? He hit her over and over again. And his friend Tori went down to the basement and saw what was going on. And Richie didn't want to get into trouble. So he took a baseball bat and cracked Tori's skull. Oh, my. And Annie saw all this? Tori's laying there, bleeding, dead. Richie took the baseball bat and put it in Annie's hand and told her that she did it, that she killed her best friend. She was so scared, Ryan, that she believed it. And she, she's repressed this memory until last night. What were you keep saying last night? What happened last night? Well, she keeps having these nightmares, OK? She keeps, like, having these flashes of memory from her birthday party, where they come in bits and pieces. So I took her down to the basement at Oak Haven to try and jog her memory. And we went over that day, like, bit by bit, to see if we could piece it all together. Oh, my God. Look, if, if this really happened... It did. Well, it's horrible, okay? And I'm, I'm really sorry that it happened. But I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Why, why are you telling me this? Annie's not struggling to find answers anymore, right? She finally realizes why she did what she did. She can finally get better. God, I hope she does. You don't understand what I'm trying to tell you, Ryan. This is the breakthrough that we've been waiting for, right? Annie's done hurting people. She's no longer a danger to anyone. She needs to see a little girl. No. No, no, no way in hell. Right, that all of this is taking a toll on Emma, and I think she's right. Says the guy who helped plan her kidnapping. I was only trying to help Emma. By making me think I was digging up my daughter's body in a grave? Look, it's not your job to protect my daughter. It's my job, and I don't need your advice on how to do it, so you can go now. But Emma's acting out. Maybe she feels responsible for the upheaval in her life. If she could just see Annie and talk to her, then she could get the reassurance that this is, this is not her fault. Or it could confuse her even more. But why are you so adamant to keep punishing Annie for something that was out of her control? I'm not trying to punish her, OK? I'm not trying to punish her. You've done a lot of good things for Annie. You have. You went undercover at OK then, and you, and you busted Sinclair, and I'm very grateful for that. But this is... This is too far, Aiden. I'll do whatever it takes to help her. Taking her down in, in, into a basement and, and reenacting a, a childhood trauma could have gone very wrong. Did you understand how much courage it took for Annie to do that? How brave she was? She's working so hard, Ryan, to try and get better, and it's all to see Emma. The last time Emma saw her mom is when Annie broke into this place and tried to kill Greeny. Oh, come on, that was a long time that ago. It wasn't that long ago. The woman that attacked Greeny, that's not who Annie is anymore. She didn't just change overnight, okay? She's obviously still sick. Just, just do me a favor, right? Just go to Oak Haven, right? See how much progress that she's made. She's found the answers now. All she needs is to see her child. Yeah. Surprise.
He wants to see his brother. Still sleeping, huh? Yeah, he was up for a little bit, but he fell back asleep. Are you sure this is a good idea? Yeah. When you were here, I never brought the boys because I uh, thought they'd be scared. Turns out the only thing they were scared of was not seeing you. We're gonna go check. All right? Okay. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Hey, without waking up. Okay, brother. Can I come in? Where is she? Where's Emma? She's she's at home. Why why didn't you bring her? Didn't Aiden tell you about last night? Yeah, he did. He said you're uh said you're getting better. I am. Well, I had to come and see for myself, Annie. I had to make sure that it, it wasn't another act. I don't expect you to trust me or forgive me for all of the horrible things that I've done. But I am still Emma's mother, and she needs me, and you know it. So hate me all that you want, Ryan, but please let our child feel loved. Your brother's getting better. He just needs to rest. I think Daddy needs to rest, too. Everything I need is right here in this room. 